Okay, so we've got some lyrics to dive into today, huh? We do. And they're in Italian, which already makes them sound more romantic. Definitely. Even without any music, these verses are like intensely passionate. Quiet nights, whispered conversations, tears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can feel the emotion even just reading them on the page. Totally. And it's not just your typical lovey-dovey stuff either. This line, la crime dolci e un po' salate, it's like sweet and salty tears. <laughs> What's going on there? Right from the start, it hints at the kind of complicated mix of emotions going on here, you know. There's happiness, but also sadness all mixed up together. Pretty common in love, I'd say. For sure. And then there's this line, un bacio dato per sognare, a kiss given to dream. It makes you wonder, are we talking about a love that helps you escape reality or a love that's about building a life together? Ooh, good question. You know, dreams are a big deal in Italian culture. It's not just about what happens when you're asleep, it's about those deep desires you carry inside. Yeah. This line, it makes me think of someone who wants something more, something extraordinary from this love. Interesting. Okay, so the chorus. Mi hai triturato positivamente il cuore. Did I pronounce that even remotely right? Sounds pretty good to me. But triturated, that's not exactly your standard love song word. It yeah. means what, like, completely crushed. It literally means to grind or to crush. So we're talking serious heart smashing here. But the thing is, it's positively triturated. Right, right. So it's like this good kind of destruction. I mean, that sounds messed up, but right. kind of amazing at the same time. Is this like a thing in Italian art? This whole, you know, finding beauty in being completely wrecked by love? Oh, absolutely. You see it all over Italian art and literature. This idea that passion can be this incredibly powerful force, like a fire that can both warm you and burn you to ashes. Think about opera, right? Those characters are always so overwhelmed by love that they end up doing crazy things, even dying for it. It's dramatic, sure, but it gets at that same feeling of being completely consumed by emotion. Yeah, it makes you think about the line between love and obsession, doesn't it? Totally. And it ties into the next part of the song, too, where it talks about stars and flight and escaping into another world. It's like the speaker wants to just completely lose themselves in this love, to be swept away by it. Okay, but then we get to this line. Nel silencio delle notti ti sento vicina e non scappi mai. So, in the silence of the nights, I feel you near and you never escape. It's like after all that intensity, there's this need for reassurance, for a love that's also safe and steady. Exactly. This line brings us back down to earth a little bit. The tone shifts from all those big, expansive images to something much more intimate and grounded. It suggests that this love isn't just about passion and fireworks, it's also about finding comfort and security in another person. It's kind of amazing how much can be said in just a few lines, especially in another language. It really is. And it's a good reminder that even though love is something universal, the way we experience it, the way we talk about it, can be really different depending on our culture. So to our listeners out there, next time you hear a song in a language you don't understand, don't just skip it. Take a minute to actually listen to the words. You never know what you might discover. You might be surprised at the feelings and stories you uncover. Definitely. That's all the time we have for today's deep dive. We'll see you next time.